So welcome back. Next main quest, my friend Timmy, I believe it's called. I've actually already uh, got to the mill. He's, uh, what we're actually doing now, we're actually just going to talk to this this person coming up now. And I think she's going to tell us where Timmy is. Here I am. So, why all the secrecy? What do you want from Timmy? Can you tell me where to find him? Promise me nothing will happen to him. Why do you care so much? He's my brother. He's not very smart, you see. And he's always getting led astray by his no-good friends. And now there's some right peculiar characters looking for him. Who are they? I don't know. But they look like cutthroats. And they said some strange things. But I didn't tell them anything. That's good. But sooner or later they'll find him anyway. Tell me where he is and I'll take care of him. He's hiding at the Colburn farm, over by Merhoyed. I've got the feeling you're looking for someone here. I'm looking for someone too. Maybe we could help each other. Hmm. And who are you looking for? A great big ox by the name of Timmy. That's interesting. I'm also looking for a big ox called Timmy. Well, what are the chances? Could it be the same fellow, I wonder? Now, if someone were to tell me where to find Timmy, I might offer that man a job. We could use a smart fellow like that at the camp. You have an encampment somewhere? Well, sure we do. And no shortage of coin if you're ready to earn it. Where is it? Ha! All in good time. First proof we can trust you. Help us find Timmy. All right. I'll tell you where he is. Really? Why would you do that? We're all Christians here, aren't we? Why not help thy neighbour? Especially if he pays two score groschen. Ha! <laughs> you wouldn't be my cousin by any chance. I'll give you two dozen, no more. Half now, and half when we find him. Deal. You know what? I don't want to do it, but I don't have enough of this shit. Um, attack, you know, I'm. They're going to massacre me. It's going to be a bad day if I choose that, so I'm just going to. I hate to do it, but I'm, I'm just going to have to side with them. He's at the Colburn's farm. Right back where he started. Are you yanking my pizzle? Well, excuse me if I take that with a grain of salt. I'll just leave Radan here to keep an eye on you. For your own protection, you know. Come with us if you've got the stomach for it. If not, come and find us in the Samapesh Tavern when it's all over. Or we'll find you. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> and the truth of, the, of blah, the truth of it is, I just suck at swordplay. So you know, I'm, I'm sure all four of them would have attacked me, and then I would have just been absolutely wrecked. So I'm just gonna have to side with them. Pebbles.
Do they go down here? Yeah, I think so. Instead of me just standing around, wow, that's a that's a really nice view there. This game is huge. Oh, wow, they really didn't get far at all, did they? That's well, nice, we can have a little a little horse ride and enjoy the view. Whoever this Timmy guy is, I'm, I'm sure he deserves it, right? <laughs> But you know what, it may work out, because you know if they can get me to the bandit camp, then it saves me having to run around, getting lost, I'm sure. His sister's not going to like me very much, but you know, it is what it is. It's whatever. Got to do what you got to do, right? It actually hurts to talk at the minute. My throat's playing up somewhat. Where are you going, you lout? You nearly killed me. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't think I had enough to pass those checks. And, um,. You know, well, you know, I got some money out of it, so it's all good. Me and Pebbles have to look out for ourselves. Yeah, there's no way I could take on all four. Can't be much further, right? Nice relaxing tune. Yeah, it's got to be there. Okay, well, sorry to me in advance. Had to do it, bro. This is a nice place you have here. Nice to see you, Timmy. How goes it? What? Haven't seen you around for a while, eh? No. Well, uh, I... I hope you haven't forgotten us, Timmy. We've been thinking about you. Uh, uh, me too. Uh, I was thinking about you. Uh, I was, you know, thinking that I 
go and see you fellows, and, uh, that's all right to me. You don't have to go anywhere. Oh, shit. Oh man. I actually feel really bad. <laughs> yeah, that was rough. So where are we heading now? Dumb. So let's just keep following him, so man, that really <clears throat> That just really made me feel horrible. Can I talk to him? So we meet again. I was hoping you'd help us out with Timmy, but never mind. Tell me though, what were you looking for him? I wanted him to tell me where to find the man who hired him for the Neuhoff job. Neuhoff job? What do you mean by that? I mean, I'm looking for the people who torch the farm. I see. And why is that? I heard they pay well. Hmm. It's true you've shown what you can do. Timmy could testify to that. If he wasn't chopped to pieces. <laughs> Maybe I do have a job for you. What kind of job? The kind of job you don't ask too much about. And the less you ask, the more you get paid. Why not? Asking questions never got me anywhere anyway. Glad to hear it. Go and do what you have to do, and then come and see us at the camp. And be prepared to stay there a few weeks. All right. But how do I find that lair of yours? It's an abandoned village. I believe it used to be called Pribislavitz. If you go upstream along the creek that flows into Rovna from the north, from the woods, then you'll eventually get there. Thanks. I hope I can find the way. Oh, and if anyone gives you trouble, say I sent you. Well, then at least tell me what they call you. Moorcock. Henry. We'll see you at the camp, then. Come on, boys. Moorcock? Really? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, let's see. Report everything to Sir Radzik. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Pebbles.
Let's keep it moving. You know, part of me feels that I should have tried to take him out, but uh, it would have ended badly, you know. You know, if people have been watching my videos, they know that already. Like we're here. Welcome, Henry. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? Sir, I've been to Ujits, and the parish priest there is very odd indeed. He's very handy with a sword. Do you know anything about him, sir? Godwin? Aye, an intriguing fellow. He's the youngest son of one of the lords of Kuttenberg. He was sent to the university to become a priest, as is customary with the youngest son. But he didn't much care for it. So when he finished studying, instead of taking up his parish, he went roaming. I imagine he had a pretty adventurous life. And then one day he came back and settled down. Hanush would know more about him. I have some news about the investigation, sir. Good. Tell me. The trail leads to Ujits. I found out one of the bandits is from there. A fellow they call Limpy Lubosh. I see. What else? I went to Ujits, where they told me I could find Lubosh. Only someone had murdered him. It seems they're trying to cover their tracks and get rid of witnesses. Indeed. The whole affair is becoming ever more suspicious. Have you any further clues? I found out about another one of them, a crony of Limpy Lubosch's. They call him Riki, and he comes from Nadechko. You're doing a good job, but you need to be careful. Have you found this Riki fellow? I'm afraid my news isn't good, sir. Hmm. I might have expected as much. Tell me the worst. This Riki fellow was hiding out in the woods, and his former accomplices really did want to kill him, because he, Limpy Lubosch, and others deserted them in Neuhof. It seems they wanted no part in the killing. Anyway, Riki told me they were hired by a bandit they call Runt. He's the one who stole your sword. Those murdering whoresons weren't after loot. They just wanted to do damage. And the worst thing is, they have an encampment in the area, and they're getting ready to make more trouble. Sakra! Anything else? That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and report to me as soon as you learn anything new. About that encampment, sir. What is it, lad? I managed to trick one of them into agreeing to take me into their camp. Indeed. That was quite a feat, but I don't want you taking risks like that. Alone in a camp full of cutthroats. I don't like the sound of it. I don't know much apart from where it is. We really need to find out more. Could you go back there and try to discover anything that could help us in the assault? The more we know, the better. And if you could carry out some sabotage while you're in there, it would be invaluable. But don't take any unnecessary risks. I don't want to lose you. Certainly, sir. That is... I'll do what I can. That's what I like to hear. You'll be our eyes and ears, lad. Our success will depend on what you find out. Go, and get back here as soon as you can. Meanwhile, I'll muster my men. I'll find out what I can and be right back. <laughs> 